Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great day. Well, we have an unbagging, so that means we have another review. Let's see who this is from. It's a, quite a big bag, so let's take a look. Let's see if I can get it. Maybe. Ooh, I got stuff falling everywhere. All right. So we got quite a few things in here. And let's see who this is from. This is from One Day Saving, and this is going to be a two part, sorry, two part video. So let me get this together and I'll be right back. All right, I am back. So we'll start with, there's two diamond paintings here. I guess I'll need my scissors. I put them away because I'm paranoid of running into them with my hand. I love these plastic, like, what do you call them? Yeah, padded envelopes. Words are escaping me today, so we'll see what's in the first one. I like them because they store well back into them instead of sometimes they come, I'm just using this in a, as an example, in a clear plastic. I hate that. I just hate that. So, yeah, these are wonderful. I write on it what it is, and that way I don't have to go sorting through 500 things. So, yeah. Well, I got this one, and it is a 30 by 30. It does have the product number up here and 30 by 30. It has 23 colors and this one was 642 and it is a round. Comes with a boat wax pen. Yay. They mostly do. I mean, I don't think I've ever opened up a diamond painting and them not having a boat wax and a pen. So, if it did, it's not common practice. And lots of beautiful colors. They do have the product number on here and the number that is on your little thing here. But I just thought this was a cute little thing. Just a tiny, precious little thing. And whenever I see violets, it says violets, which is probably French. Um, yeah. When I see violets, I think of my grandmother. She had all kinds of violets and she had like a oh it was like a, a shelving thingy she had two of them and that's where the light would come through and that's where her violets would grow so yeah had to get this so it's not very big and it's kind of done in that that uh, The same way that one with the postcard. So it's kind of a very old-fashioned looking thing. But I thought it was beautiful. There's even a little bird here. Whether he's going to show up or not. You know, you'd be surprised after you get the diamonds on here. How well it does show up. Or doesn't show up. Words, not so much. So we'll see how that, that goes. I usually don't get things with words. But it came as part of the package because I wanted that. Now, you could probably take colors and slip it all in there, but, you know, to make it look just solid and leave the words out, not a clue. Not a clue. Let's see how big this is. Very well printed. It's kind of got a sparkly canvas. Oh, yeah, it's very sticky. Very sticky. I can't believe it's got 23 colors, but I guess it's all in the shading. And it looks like all of the uh, symbols are letters. I like that. Just love it. It is 29 and a half that way by 29 and a half that way. Just tittle tad over it. Over 29. So let's see. 29. It would fit in a 12 by 12 frame with just a bit of an edge going around the, the outside of it. So yeah, just absolutely beautiful gorgeous I love that blue 
Mm, look at that blue. Let's take a look at the drills. For under $7, I think this is a deal. And it does come in the little packages that are all hooked together here. If we could just figure out where is A and where is B and where is the beginning. Look at that purple. Oh my goodness. That, that's number one. It is 208, but that is a beautiful purple. You got some olive greens, some golds, a pinkish color. Just beautiful. Look at that yellow. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of it. Oh, maybe that's going to be the background. Let's take a look. That'll be pretty. Number, number six. Number six is 677. Yeah. It's in the background. It doesn't look like there's that many, but okay. Sorry. Got sidetracked. Ooh, look at that blue violet. Mm, and more blue. Look brown. And you got some uh, brick red. And kind of a blue gray. That's kind of a charcoal. Well, no. I'm sorry. It's more of a green. Like a dark olive green. And this this one is lighter than that one, so it's like the next shade up. But just absolutely beautiful, beautiful colors. We're, we're almost to the end, and there's some more of that yellow, so that is the background. There's two of those. Ooh, look at the purples and the violets. <sighs> yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, you know we're going to have to start that one soon. That's beautiful. Get down. I know. She's starting. She's going to go and bark because we have to. I don't know what's going on down here, but you're not really ever going to see whatever that is. Since it's around. You might see uh, some color, you know, peeping through, but. Not too much. I, I don't know if it's... You'll see it in the picture. I don't know if it was some kind of writing or something, but it's never going to show up. But I just... I got it for this part right here. I just... Mm, love it. Get down, please. Let's see what the next one is. So many choices. Some days I am overwhelmed. Oop. Trying to... Looks like somebody taped the end. Maybe they couldn't remember what was in the bag. See? That's why I write with a Sharpie on the outside exactly what it is. And put that over there. Save it. Let's see which one this one is. Let's go this way. Oh, yes. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at that bird and that rose. Oh, my goodness. This does come with a boat tray wax you know the thing I I save I don't save all these I maybe save five of these these trays because I get so much stuff in and then I'll I have an entire baggie with just the wax in so if I need extra wax or something or whatever but I use my pins that I'd have I'm like where are they yeah, I usually use this one or my new one. Those are my two favorite to use in there. They've got a little weight to them, but it feels nice in my hand. It's very easy to use. I can't, like if I, when I get ready to diamond paint, I set those two pens filled up. Plus, I have like a couple extra of these, whoops, of the pink pens with like squishies on them. I can barely use them because they're, they feel so tiny in my hand. But, yeah. This is another 30 by 30. Not very big, but look at that rose. Oh my goodness, can you ever. This might need to, they both just need an iron run over them a little bit. And sometimes I don't even bother running an iron unless it's, you know, really bad. But these aren't bad. So, I just set it down. I start 
diamond painting and then when I finished for the night I'll put a couple rocks on it and it'll straighten it right out because it's now this one is a little bit more crinkled than others but usually the rocks will straighten it out until I get back to it the next time but yeah so just run an iron over it it's fine but look at the colors in this the greens and everything just bursts I love that bird look at its little blue head just beautiful just absolutely beautiful and I'm sure this I like these smaller these are snack paintings you know they're not epic ones that I have to work on a bit at a time because you know I just get bored but yeah I some days I think I have no attention span none I just flit from one things to the next. This is pretty close to 30. And, yep, it's right on the money, 30. This is another one that will fit in a 12 by 12 frame. It is like 24 and a half. Yep, 24 and a half, which is, it fit in a 10 by 10. Yeah, so it's like nine and a little over a quarter. Same with this one, 24 and a half, which is nine and three quarters. So it would fit in a 10 by 10 frame if you had that. So that's always good. And you can get 10 by 10s or uh, 12 by 12s. Sometimes I find them at the, the thrift stores and sometimes you can find them at Walmart or if you have happen to have um, Hobby Lobby or Michaels and that kind of thing much you know you can find whatever you need and they're not too expensive you know because it's a common thing you're not making it a custom frame so I'm glad they finally put them in specific sizes 10 by 10 12 by 12 6 by 6 or you know bigger 11 by 14 they seem to work out if you just put a little edging around it, it works beautifully you saw I when I uh, when I uh, did my Cinderella and the other bird one that I did. Yeah. I like birds as long as they're not real and as long as they're not flying in my face. Now these beads all come in bags. And they have just the, the product, or not the product, the number that fits here on this key. So this is number 20. It's 3752. Does not... Looking. No. It has a diamond on there. But it doesn't have the DMC number on these bags. But there are DMC numbers and the symbols and the, the number of the actual drill on the canvas. So these are very muted colors. We're just going to bring out part of it at a time. So you got hordes and hordes of greens and golds. Ooh, look at that blue. It's like a dark cornflower blue. And there's some bright, bright green. And the rest of them are kind of muted. You have 938, 310, and no, 3771. So, yeah, and there's not, this is number one, which is 310, so there, you can see there's not much 310 in that, so you don't have to work with much dark, many dark, dark things. Of course, how did that get, really? Seriously, okay, I didn't think I was crazy, but you also have some more. So now, if you wanted to, you could just do the diamond painting from these baggies but just beautiful beautiful colors most of them are muted some in the background and a little bit of an off-white which is 3866 not 65 so there's very little of the white but this would not take you any time at all but you could just do it out of the baggies instead of um, putting them in containers. I do that mostly when I'm doing a huge project and then I have a separate bag 
with the excess. But yeah, this is just beautiful. Just bright and beautiful, and it just makes you shine. It's just full of sunshine and flowers and a bird having a good day, just sitting there, taking it all in. Yeah, just beautiful. Mm. Some of these bird pictures are just outstanding. And I like that it's up close, you know, where you can see it. Now, they do have black writing on, I'd say, a good 90% of this. But down here where it gets dark, it's done in like a white. So it's easier to see where the drills go. I would put it on my, my, my uh, light table, but... You know, there's, it's very easy to read. That's where I was going with that. Very nice. Now, that one was, bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. Peach flower was five fifty nine. So, you can get a beautiful little painting for not a whole lot of money. And that's, that's just what I love. Now, I saw this. Now, we're going to get into the cross stitch part of this unbagging here. I don't know what this is for, so we're just going to take it out. I couldn't figure it out because, you know, here's my dilemma. I saw that they had these things that you put on your fingers, and they're kind of like a pressure garment, if you will, um, to uh, steady your fingers or whatever, or make them feel better and they're more stable um, when you're doing crafts, we'll call it, because it entail everything. Then, you know, and they're just about this big. They're pre-cut. They're made. And they, you just put them on what fingers you want. That has nothing to do with this is going to keep your needle from going into your hand. As you can see, I've worn a groove in my finger. It's been a, a big stitchy week. So then I saw this stuff. And it comes on a... Roll, if you will. And you just unroll it. And I'm not real clear on what you do with this. So I couldn't tell. So I'm just going to cut a piece off. I thought, okay, so it's stretchy, so if you did this, would it stick? At one time, I, I broke my, yeah, it sticks. And it's kind of a nail, or a finger thing. One time, okay, back up. One time, I broke... <coughs> I think it was, <coughs> excuse me, I thought I was going to sneeze, um, broke my wrist, and they wrapped this bandage, it stuck, you know, they didn't have to use butterfly clips around my, let's call it my wrist or whatever, and it just stayed, so this, you wrap it around your finger, and it keeps the needle from going through and poking your finger. And it's much lighter than, hold on, we're going to put the needle away because, you know, crap happens. And then after it's been run into or whatever, I think this is an awesome idea. I thought that this was going to fit over your finger like those other things, you know, slide up and down. But... It's more of a pressure thing. It's very stretchy, very elastic. And when it wears out, you just cut yourself another piece. I think this is ingenious. So I will have to stitch something and let you know how that all works out. Because now this, this review is going to be in two parts. So the next part is going to be next Wednesday. And... I will let you know how this works out and if I really love it. It comes in all different colors, 
you know, you can pick whichever you want. I got the panda bears. I don't know if you can tell that they're panda bears. Or not. I'll just hold it still. But since it's on stretchy stuff, you... Or it's some kind of a, a mark, but it sure looks like a panda bear to me. Right there. He's like this way. So he's sitting there, and he's got two eyes, his ears. There's the top part of his head. And then he's sitting down with his paws in front of him like that. And then there's like probably a tree or something next to him or a rock. Yeah. So I will let you know how this works out because I think this is freaking ingenious. And I've saw it, but I didn't know what it was. You know what I actually thought this was? I know we're going on and on about all this. But yeah, I was excited. Um... I just thought if there was something that was maybe disposable or whatever and you really wouldn't have to worry about keeping track of your thimble and you got this. But I I don't know. I thought it was washi tape is actually what I thought it was that was, you know, going to go down the side of a thing. But now I see it's very stretchy and, of course, I read the, the thing. But even after reading the instruction or not the instruction, the description on the thing, I still didn't really consider grasp what the heck it was but yeah I like this yeah I like this so I'm just gonna put that puppy right on there so we don't lose that we don't need to get rid of that piece but isn't that great because that weighs nothing if you took that with you you know to go on a little trip you could take a couple pieces and you'd have enough to wrap around your finger and it's very lightweight yeah, we may be getting more of this. You know, it might be the next thing next to popcorn like this. Because, you know, I I love these. So, yeah, we might have 100 rolls of this. Because, yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. Okay, speeding right along. We have obsessed over that for a while, right? Now, that stuff, they call it finger guards. It's a dollar ninety nine a roll, and that is going to last you for a year or maybe two, you know, depending on what you do. But I'll let you know after I do it. This is the next kit that I got. It does have a product number down here of seven forty. It is made by the DIY Cross Stitch Company. Isn't I love peach colored tulips. I don't know. This year I'm obsessed with them. And there's even looks like some tiger lilies. You've got some, what do you call it? Butterflies here. And some little things going on. I don't know how much of all that's going to translate to cross stitching. So let's get it open. Now this is, was, it's a 40 by 50. So it's fair size. It was 9.22. So let's take a look here. Molly took over my side of the chair over here. Let's take it out of its bag. I'm a little distracted today, can you tell? Yeah. Just beautiful. Look at those orange and maybe even into red and down here into pink so we'll see now I don't think yeah see there's no signature that's not ever going to show up we knew that but I wanted to look at the background it does have 25 colors it has the product number there's the 740 again does have tell you how big it is and how many squares per square so it's 129 by 173 and this key will match the one on the canvas. Does show all the different thread colors. Look at those colors. <sighs> Some days. There is no 310. There is no 823. There is no 939. And there is no 3371. Amazing. Totally. Yeah. I don't know how they missed all those colors because, you know, heaven knows. Let's pull this out very gently and see. Let me get them all whooped down. They've been all mooshed together since they left the factory here. 
All right, it does have a sticker here with the product number. I like that because, you know, heaven knows, I lay this thing down. I go do something else, go to work, come home, and it's like, well, where does that thread go? Trust me, my brain is not that good. So, yeah. So, I like it when they put a sticker on there. And sometimes I will even go to the length of turning it over because you can't write on this unless you're going to write with a Sharpie. I'd rather not have the Sharpie near the thread. Just saying. It's just a me thing. So, turn it over. And this is paper. And you can write, let's see, C740. So, C740. And what's that other part? SZX. S Z X right on the back. Just beautiful. And that way, you know at a glance, or if it doesn't have this is what I'm telling you to do if it doesn't have a sticker. And that way you know just like that where those those I don't know. My life is so complicated sometimes. Yeah. I'm sorry. We're we're droning on again. Look at that white. I don't know what that is. Let's see. Number seven is 712. It's kind of a tan, tan white, you know, maybe ecru. I don't know. It's not, it's not blue. It's got more of a brown tone to it, if you will. And it's not white, white, of course. Or 3865 has that kind of a blue look to it. But look at the oranges. Look at the bright oranges, bright yellows. There's even some fuchsia in there. Mm, and that green. Beautiful. And then we have this lovely yellow. I don't know. It must be going... Gotta look at the picture. In the background-ish somewhere. Yeah. There's a lot of it. But there's no extra hanks, you know, of thread. But just beautiful, gorgeous colors. Just bright and vivid Bright colors make me smile. You know, they just you pick you up on a dreary day. I mean, I would pick this up in the middle of winter, and you got just a little bit of sunshine, you know? Those dreary, dreary days. Do y'all have those kind of things? I have. Sometimes it happens. Now, there are two needles right there. It does have the product number, very nice and big. 40 by 50. It's 129 by 173, like I said before. It does have this nice gra uh, graft, nice key here. You can see all the colors. This one is one that has all the color. It's here, so you kind of know what color you're looking for. Nice, easy to read numbers, symbols. This thing must be close to a half inch, if it's not. It's more than a quarter inch, I know that. So, it's very big and very easy to read. It is an 11 count. But, look at those big flowers. And there's a lot of number 7 that I showed you earlier. That off-whitey color. Yeah. Just beautiful. And it doesn't look... It looks like it's got those blotches of, of confetti here and there. Nothing real big or carried away. You know, very easy to read symbols. You know, because they have a nice mixture of solid colors and maybe half or this one's like a solid color with another solid color in the middle of it. But they're not all, all the symbols are not all like lines or X's or something. It's, it's very well distributed, very well. Very easy to read and very easy to see. But yeah, those those tulips are huge. Let's, what did I do with it? Oh, here we go. I'm going to turn it sideways. Sorry, guys. It's just easier on the old arms. Now, there is a salvaged edge down here. Do you see where that line is? And they usually give you a little bit extra. You don't need it. There is like two inches possibly two and a half inches on all other three sides so yeah you're fine you are fine and it is not surged the whole thing is 50 okay so they didn't give you any extra this time 50 by 39 and a half but that's okay 
your pictures what counts. The picture is 39 and a half, which is 15 and a half by 29 and a half, which is pretty close to 11 and a half by 15 and a half. So it's not going to fit in an 11 by 14, but you could make it into 16 by 20 and have some kind of material around the edge if you wanted to, if you didn't want to go the route of having a custom frame made. Just saying, I, I'm always looking for a way to save money and it not cost a fortune. But this is very nice. I just, mm, just love, love, love the colors. Now let's see, are we ever going to see that welcome? I don't know, it's right up in here. You can see it kind of starting, so it's blending right in. Sorry. It starts right here, and then it's going this way. So you may see the welcome. Some other things, not so much. But the flowers are like the center of everything. So they can turn out very shaded, you know. We'll see. We'll see. Now, uh, One Day Saving has, uh, usually has a price. I think it's over $50 of, for free shipping. And they have pre-stamped and counted. They have diamond painting. They have paint by number. They also do custom. I don't know if they do custom in paint by number, diamond painting, and cross stitch. I'm not sure about that. Some some stores do, some don't. You'll have to check that out. Um, they do have some beaded cross stitch, and it's usually just the little, the little tiny keychain things. They have diamond painting and cross uh, cross stitch tools. They have diamond painting and cross stitch crafts. They have a lot of tools and a lot of things to work with. They also have, if you buy $19, you get $2 off. If you buy $45 worth of stuff, you get $5 off. And if you buy $79 worth, you get $10 off. So, yeah. Go check them out and see if there's anything you like there. Very nice store. I In, in normal times most of the time I get everything shipped really well really fast I mean within a couple of weeks let's see I ordered this on the first of last month now things have been going crazy at our post office and most of them so it took I think I got it on the 30th so it did take a month to get it but Normal times, it usually takes a couple weeks, you know, so I have never had a problem with them, and they haven't messed up my order, and they have great customer service, so they get right, usually get back to you, like, overnight, let's say, because they're working on a different time than we are, they're in China, so wherever relevant to wherever you live, you know what I mean? So if you live in Australia, I don't know if the time is the same in China and along that edge. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So give them time. Within, I would say, less than 24 hours, you got an answer of, hey, this is what we're going to do and we'll fix it. And Yeah. Never had that kind of problem ever. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me and thank you one day saving for sending me these beautiful gorgeous kits i can hardly wait I have three tulips going now so yeah mm -hmm. we need another tulip right oh god anyway i think this is the color for the year or the the season shall we say i do like that peach orangey stuff speeding right along Thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell, and that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.